Hi, today I'm gonna do try a little neat SSH trick. First, I go into this address, what's my IP address to see what my IP address is. And my IP address is this one, which is located in Sweden between Stockholm and Örebro here in the, at the red dot. And I drew a <laughs> very nice little picture here of uh, I have a lawn. I, no, I, you know what? I'm gonna do a new picture. I have a LAN, uh, a router here, which is connected to the internet and has an IP address. And then here is the internet. <laughs> nice. And I, this is the public IP that's visible out to the internet. And the inside here is my home. I have a local area network. And on the local area network, I have some computers connected. And right now I'm doing the recorder on this computer, which is an iMac. And uh, when I browse the internet from my iMac, this IP is visible. But if I want another IP to be visible, let's say I have a host which I can access here at DigitalOcean. You can call it OOC. Oceania, it's the host name of it. And I want this IP to be visible instead. Then I can solve it like this <coughs> using SSH. So here I'm at the iMac, and if I check the manual page for SSH, and I think I want to dash D. Dash D here. Find address port, blah, 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 and I create a SOX5 proxy. And then I can configure Firefox to use the SOX5 proxy. Right, so I just run SSH here to Oceania. And I set it up so it doesn't use the password. And I bind this port 6666 locally on my iMac to be a proxy and then the, the proxy traffic will magically be tunneled through the internet the proxy traffic here on ports from port 6666 will magically be tunneled over to this ip and then from this ip it will go out on the internet so this will be the visible ip so now i just had to configure firefox and i installed an add-on that's called foxy proxy and in Foxy Proxy, I set up this one, localhost 6666. And if I want to see the settings, it's just localhost, port 6666, and a SOX proxy. Right, and that should be it. If I reload this page, now it should be magically, this IP would change to the DigitalOcean one in the United States. Yep, now I'm in Kansas. <laughs> instead of uh, in Sweden. Faster than light travel from Sweden to Kansas. All right, but, uh, and if I log out Hello? here, then I'm... I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Now, now the proxy is broken. It won't be able to connect, so I have to disable the proxy. And now I should be back in Sweden again, yep. And the other use case, SSH-R creates a reverse tunnel. And let's say we have a use case, I want, I have another computer here, which it's called Dunkelstern, which you can't read. And I want to connect to this iMac through SSH, but this iMac doesn't have a public IP on the internet. I, on, I can only see this IP. So yeah, it's possible to set up port forwarding, some port, maybe 22, maybe some other port, to bounce uh, on the LAN to the iMac at port 22 here. But if I don't want to do that, I can use a reverse shell. So then I use SSH from the iMac through the internet to the publicly as accessible uh, DigitalOcean here, and bind up a port, and then I can connect from Dunkelstern to DigitalOcean, and SSH into this port 
and then magically tr transported re reverse tunneling back to the iMac without even knowing this e IP. I don't have to know this IP. Okay. So R. I bind up port 6666 on localhost, and localhost here is the DigitalOcean one, and uh, it should bounce to port 22 on the iMac, wh where I initiate the connection. Right, now the reverse tunnel is up, so I can go to the other computer here, which is Dunkelstein. Yep, and SSH into Oceania. Now I'm here, now I can SSH to port 6666 on localhost, which is on Oceania, and now it sh should be magically transported through the reverse tunnel to the iMac. And this should be the iMac password. Yep, here I am on the iMac, transported through the magic tunnels of the internet.